When ants are looking for food, they simply wander around without a specific goal or plan. However, when they find food that they like, they do not wander. They bite the food and return home as soon as possible in a straight line. So it's okay to wander a little and get lost, because you must be looking for something anyways. But all you have to remember is to not forget the place to return to. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Pang Huang, Wandering by Basecamp featuring George. drama are you watching these days? I'm re-watching something. Uh, which one? You want to watch it with me? Absolutely! Who's seen it? Oh my gosh, we had the same pitch for once. For who's seen it? Unison for once. Because for Song Express, we always yeah. did Song Express. <laughs> My goodness welcome Finally. back iris Hi. hello you're looking absolutely gorgeous today in all black Merci. there's a special reason right yes of yeah. course yes it's a little spoiler for mm-hmm, our mm-hmm. drama that we're gonna talk about today but welcome back our no longer mangne second to last mangne how are you doing we had an extra long weekend right because yeah. it was a holiday yesterday yes. well, how was your three-day weekend um i mean as a semi-freelancer we don't really like have a weekday or weekend kind of thing right mm-hmm. so it was just normal i ate a lot of food mm, what about bread i had a lot of i had um talgo nascone Mm, that no? doesn't sound very appetizing. <gasps> it was very good. Well, because first of all, I don't really like scones because they're very dry. And then second of all, Taigona flavored scones. Ugh. It was really it, good. Ugh. You know, it kind of feels like your teeth are going to rot away. Oh, yeah, yeah that's awesome. That means it's good. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm having dessert, I want dessert that makes me feel like I'm going to lose all my of teeth course. by the time I'm like 50. Of course. Um, let's see. Brian L says black <laughs> Swan Iris? Black yes. Swan? Oh. Uh, Rick Gauss's Berkeley really changed Iris. Did, Did it? it? How? Did it? In what way? And she's still the same old <laughs> little Iris. Yes. Oh, yes. uh, Say Say G says she hates not being Mangne anymore. I actually yeah, hate she's it a lot. Absolutely bitter and salty yeah. about it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I need a new like title now because I I don't have um, Adi like um Sound K Baby anymore. Mm-hmm. I need like Radio Clock something Iris. Mm, you guys want to tell me what title I should have now yeah, in let's the comments? Make a new title for Iris, please. Also, um, your ex extra busy now during the week since you have to come to radio clock twice mm-hmm. a week mm-hmm. one, one on tuesday once on tuesday and then once on friday, friday. Yeah. and you talk about dramas on tuesdays and then you also um think of partying party <laughs> and fooding <laughs> yeah so you gotta talk about drama party eat um yeah so you're gonna be extra busy how what did you think of the party last week in sapati oh um, last week i came three times right because it was like Monday, right. Tuesday, Friday. Uh-huh. So it just kind of felt like radio was everything last week. Like Aww. that was like the biggest and like the only thing I had. <laughs> so now I just kind of have to get used to coming twice a week mm-hmm. and waking up early twice a week mm. <laughs> and talking to you guys twice a week. And yeah, it's true dedication because um, Iris actually moved far away. She yeah, moved that's like true. two hours away outskirts of seoul right is it, is it two hours one away? hour maybe more without traffic without traffic without it's traffic, an hour one hour yeah. but with traffic it can easily yeah. be like two hours so it's a lot of driving back and forth Do, did you drive no oh, way okay. wait have you driven since you've been back yeah oh you have twice oh. are you still good still good i mean like i was you never still- good oh, you're- <laughs> take me shopping i said i could trust your driving skills but i never said when oh 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, she's still practicing, but she's her mom's been driving her back and forth from a town that's like very far away. Mm-hmm. So I commend you for your dedication to Radio Clock. Mercy. Um. Anyways, I just wanted to mention since we did have a show yesterday, but it wasn't live. Oh um, right. Yeah. Uh. So this past weekend we had our new weekend corners, and one of the corner we had a spoilers alert with Jessica. PD님 in the studio. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Just wanted to mention it. If you guys have any questions for um, anything that happens in the studio throughout this week, anything you want to know more about, let us know on the send message board. You can ask direct questions to Jessica PD님, Hiju PD님, our writers as well. We'll try our best to give you the tea and give you all the answers okay so this corner is about introducing k dramas to you guys some Mm -hmm. of you guys don't have the time to watch you know these 16 episode 20 episode dramas but we love watching dramas (laughs) so we choose a drama each week and tell you guys about the drama it's been kind of hard though because our taste in film and dramas are like polar opposite hardcore judging each other all the time like did you watch this no No. how did you not watch this yeah we're like ew you watch that you like that (laughs) oh but i'm more into like the very lovey-dovey heartfelt heartwarming series and iris is very into the gory bloody bloody (laughs) yeah that was kind of drama so i was like okay we cannot talk about those kind of dramas here on radio clock so i've been convincing her to watch more lovey dovey dramas like guys tell me how she's never watched chloe before like crash landing on you how do you not watch chloe that just doesn't make sense to me (laughs) okay are you done with your raging yes i'm (laughs) done with my rant okay okay um so how do you decide on which drama to i guess settle with um usually a lot of the times i would like algorithm would give me clips on like other platforms and Mm -hmm. I would watch short clips and if they seem interesting I'd go to my many streaming platforms and search if they have the full versions Mm -hmm. and that's how I usually watch it and I look at a lot of comments I read a lot of comments and if people are like don't watch this it's so gory that's what I'd watch (laughs) oh you're the opposite (laughs) yeah Uh (laughs) yeah it's basically like that and a lot of the times um there's like seasons Mm. for these dramas that come out Mm -hmm. lately and even korean dramas they started doing like seasons so i just watched the first one and if i like the first one then i would actually like definitely watch the second Ah, season too i see i see okay so i'm looking forward to the drama we're gonna talk about today i'm getting all like i'm getting butterflies in my stomach just thinking about the drama oh really yes oh okay (laughs) Uh, but we are on zoom right now guys uh we have posted the link on our website so if you can please join us on zoom we'll be doing some interviews and we'll try to talk to some of our listeners slash viewers on zoom a little later uh if you could have the screen of anybody who's on zoom right now uh can we see hello hi Hi, everybody hi (laughs) good morning good evening good afternoon oh we got the three musketeers on top oh hello 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 everybody (laughs) okay please stay tuned we'll do an interview shortly so we're gonna spoil the drama through a little skit today right yeah well it's kind of a quiz you guys have to figure out which drama we're talking about through our acting i think today's skit is kind of harder than last week yeah definitely it's not like an exact scene from the drama Mm. it's like we kind of am the characters but kind of not and it's kind of in between well last week's skit was pretty hard too because people didn't really watch the drama they were like uh Uh, i think we have like one listener who got it right but maybe today's will be a bit easier listen to the last line yeah listen to the narration parts and you might be able to figure it out um brian l says iris's outfit is a hint right and yes it is while you're watching our skit yes Mm -hmm. my outfit is also a hint my hair is a hint not my outfit though my hair could be a hint. her hair and my outfit Mm -hmm. (laughs) okay shall we start Are you ready? Okay, let's go. They 
keep asking me and rushing me, like, when are you gonna get married? But I have no thoughts on marriage. I have something more important on my hands. Ashley, Anni, Anni, I heard your fiance finally came to Korea. So, are you getting married now? What do you mean, married? No. Huh? You waited years to see his face, though. Like, wow, I could never. He's not the one. I didn't decide on this. That's why, Anni, when your parents force you to marry someone you don't know, you say no. But, uh, anyway, when are you meeting him? Do you miss him? I don't know. I mean, okay, I don't understand you, but don't worry. I'll tell him everything. I'm gonna tell him that you were waiting for him all this time. Don't do that, Iris. You don't understand. Oh my gosh, how about when you get married, I sing at the wedding? I'm not getting married. Why not? Because there's something more important than marriage. Which is? I can't tell you right now, but I'll tell you later. What? What do you mean? Tell me, please. I promise I won't tell anyone. Iris, I really have to go because I have to attend to something. I'll see you later, okay? Huh? No, where, where are you going? Can I go? Can no, I go? No, you take can't. me. No. <sighs> okay, well, okay, gee. But after you meet your fiance, you have to promise me that you're going to tell me all about it. to do something. This is more important than marriage. More important than my life, perhaps. I will succeed with the brave and righteous people by my side. <laughs> okay, I, that was that fake. Was, okay. Um... <laughs> It's, uh, yes, that was the sound of a gunshot, gunshot but I, gunfire. I'm not supposed to die. I yeah, just, wrong yeah, spoiler. That's not, that's not the storyline. I don't die, but I just felt like I had to act like I yes. got shot. You're, <laughs> you're perhaps the shooter. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mate, yes. I'm the shooter, Tur. guys. Yes. That was totally terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I don't die. I actually shot, okay? <laughs> so what is this drama about, guys? Do you, can you make any assumptions? You guys have any guesses uh aaron said let's see he said give me the choices and i have a 25 percent chance of getting it right yes, okay yes yeah, so true. we'll give you the choices right now okay number one we have tokebi goblin number two we have mr sunshine number three we have my mr nayajashi and number four we have Gude, you who came from the stars 25 mm. percent chance here you go guys which <laughs> drama is the skit based on. Can you give them the choices one more time? We have one, Goblin. Number two, Mr. Sunshine. Number three, My Mister. And number four, You Who Came From The Stars. Um, any more hints uh, besides your outfit being um, a hint? I don't know if this is going to be like too, like giving it away too much. No, you can give it away. Okay. Trust me. They, they're <laughs> lost. They, they need hints. Okay. Um, we talked last week. Mm -hmm. We talked about a certain actor that was in Hospital Playlist. Hospital Playlist. Uh -huh. um, this same actor is in this drama as he well. He actually is. Is. So it's a he, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a he. Yes, it's a he. <laughs> All right, so we're going to listen to a song while you guys send the answer in, and we'll reveal the drama we're going to talk about today. This is BB's Kamyon Budohe Animal Farm. Wow, that Ooh. was BB's latest track, Kamyon Budohe Animal Farm. You guys are listening to and watching Radio Clock on both Arirang Radio and TV right now. If you want to join us on Radio Clock, if you have anything you want to share with me, let me know on the Send a Message board. You can let me know your song request as well. We'll play a song request at the end of the show for our final song. So this is Who's Seen It with Pretty Little Iris Hi, in the studio. I'm on TV, Mom. <laughs> She's going to officially change her name to Pretty Little Iris soon, apparently. Uh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yes, please do yes, that soon. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay, so there were a few right answers on the YouTube chat. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of wrong answers as well. Mm -hmm, the choices mm -hmm. were Goblin, Mr. Sunshine, My Mister, You Who Came From The Stars... Shall we introduce today's drama? Shall we? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Sunshine! Sunshine! You are my 
my sunshine, my only sunshine, <laughs> Mr. Sunshine. It was Woo. Woo number two, three. This, oh, number three. three. No, number two. Why'd you write three oh. on it then? <laughs> number two. <laughs> I meant to write two. Number two. Mr. Sunshine. Mr. Sunshine. This drama. This drama, yes. This drama aired in 2018, so it's been a while. It's been a while, But and it was really big in Korea. Yeah. Although I didn't watch it when it was airing, and I watched it later, mm. um, at once because my mom was telling me how like interesting it was, mm -hmm. and it's a historical drama basically with like some added features to it, mm -hmm. and. I'm not a fan of historical dramas because I just think they're kind of like hard to understand yeah. for me yet. So um, I don't really watch a lot of historical dramas, but my mom was like, no, they made it easy for kids like you. You have to watch for it. Kids like <laughs> and, you. and I was like, oh, okay. And one of the um, merits that got me into watching it was that the director mm -hmm. and the writer are Lee Young Bok and Kim Eun Suk. Writer Kim Eun Suk and director Lee Young Bok. And are they married? Are they the couple? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no they're not okay. married. Okay. Um, so they basically had three projects that mm -hmm. they worked on together, and the two that they did, the other two were um, Goblin and The Descendants of the Sun. Mm. So it was like, it was Ooh. like nothing. Nothing could go wrong with the two. Yeah, Kim Eun Suk so, Chaka is really famous. Yes, all of the her. Heirs, yeah, all the her King, dramas always yeah. go viral or super popular. Um, they invested 430 억 430 억 into this drama. So that's like isn't that more than the Squid Games? Million? Um, the prize? Squid Game, really? No, no, the oh, prize oh, for yeah. the Squid Game. I don't remember the exact prize, <laughs> but um, yes, they invested a lot of money into this drama, and you can tell the yeah. quality is right. top notch. Uh, the cinematography is stunning. They've built so many sets from scratch, and above all, the actors are just. <laughs> Mm. True. Acting. Great actors. Yeah. Ugh. Acting is top notch too. Yeah. The build up of the story, uh, of the character right. story, and like you can't help but get attached to the characters. And we'll talk about the characters in a little bit. Uh, so, who are you dressed up as? Like, um, did anyone watch Mr. Sunshine? Because I think if you watched it, you can kind of guess mm. because I'm wearing this headpiece right here. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the characters that I will explain later, but she is played by Kim Min Jong, mm. actor Kim Min Jong. And she has always this like hat or like this hairpiece with like feathers falling down. And it was kind of like her signature. So I did that. And what about you? Your braids. My braids. <laughs> um, you know, when we wear hanbok, traditional Korean, um, yeah. you know, we always kind of braid our hair very neatly. Yes. Usually just Tengi one mori. braid right, uh, right. towards uh, in the back. But um, today I did like a double braid to kind of look a little more proper. Usually <laughs> you're not even supposed to ha have hair out like This. proper like, excuse you have to yes have everything just glued to the back so like, she's not proper to today i'm not proper i'm the 2022 version right, you know what right. i mean the hipper version yes uh so this drama mr sunshine is kind of based on a real life character mm -hmm. like the yes. plot itself uh there is a lot of fiction added but there was a character that the main character Eugene Choi was based on but um, according to the director can you tell us yes. where he got inspiration for this drama so the director saw a picture and because of that picture he was very inspired mm -hmm. he, here's the picture you guys can see it mm. it's a black and white picture which means it's probably very very old <laughs> and this is a real life picture they aren't actors and it was taken um, by a British reporter that was um reporting about wars and like independence and um these people in the picture right now they are all people of the righteous army so they mm -hmm. were people that f were fighting for the independence of korea and after seeing this picture the director was inspired and 
um, added some love lines to it and got mm. the ac- actual historical events that happened and made it into Mr. Sunshine, which is a pretty long drama. It's, I believe, like 24, Two, 24 episodes. Yeah, 24 episodes. It doesn't really feel that long if you mm-hmm. actually watch it because there's like a lot of events and like, as Ashley mentioned, the buildup is really neat. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, I'm going to tell you about the main characters now. Uh, before that, uh, okay, yeah. this picture was taken in 19... 19- and somewhere sometime between 1906 and 1907 and apparently this is the only picture of the anti-japanese righteous army and it was thanks to the british war correspondent named mackenzie so thank you mackenzie for leaving this picture for all of the rest of the koreans to see it's also um it's also included in textbooks in Korea, mm. like the history textbooks. So it's like if you go to like school in Korea, you learn about this and you see this picture in your textbooks. So yes. it's a very important picture. Okay, so now tell us about the characters. Yes, it's kind of, it might be kind of hard to understand if you're not familiar with like what Choson was like, which is like along like what Korea was before it was called Korea. It was called Choson and that's when all of this takes place, like 1907, 1906. Um, the main character is Koe Shin, and it's played by Kim Teddy. Um, she was recently on 2521. Hmm? She was in the drama? Kim Teddy. No, yeah. She, well, 2521. Oh, sorry. I was, I was like, thinking about 39. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All these dramas 21. with age right here. So this is Kim Teddy, and she is an upper class woman in the social class. She has a high social class, which means her family is wealthy, and um, she's able to do things that not a lot of other people are able to do. So she goes to like a hall that's like an educational hall. It's kind of like an academy, mm-hmm. and not everyone can go there because they don't have the privilege to. So she goes there and learns English. Mm-hmm. And she also secretly, without her parents knowing, learn how to use a gun. So learning English and using a gun, those she did them both for the righteous army so that she could do she could do a part of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, she could have just lived a comfortable life. That's true. You know, she eating was delicious things, yeah. wearing pretty dresses, but she wanted to fight against the Japanese colonial right. rule, so she decided to take up shooting, and she was a very good... I don't know. She's not actually a soldier, but she was a good fighter. Fighter, yeah. She had really good Strong, aim. tough, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and then we have Yujin Choi, played by Lee byung mm-hmm. And... Um, Lee byung character is kind of interesting because you can see in the beginning, here we are right here, he is born as a servant's son in Korea. So basically, he didn't get the privilege that Kim Tae-ri or Koe Shin got because he was in the lower class. And so he moves to the States. He goes to America and he becomes different because he gains an American does he gain a nationality? Because he says he's American after he yeah, comes back. He yeah, he joins like the U.S. Arm- Embassy yes. and Army. He's army. a soldier for the U.S. Army. But the reason why he went to America was also really brutal. His parents died in front of his eyes. Yes. Oh, is that a spoiler? I was like, oh. Well, we are just <laughs> spoiling the show for you guys. Right. I mean, there's more to that story. We just yeah. said like they died. So. Mm-hmm. so yeah, so it's kind of interesting to see how everyone in Korea... Um, um, acts towards Lee byung before and after he goes to the States. Mm. And he comes back to Joseon and, of course, falls in love with Koe Shin. Mm-hmm. Um, number three, we have Koo dong played by Yoo yeon Sok, And this is the actor we were talking about, about Hospital Playlist. We mm-hmm. talked about him last week. Very different from Hospital Playlist with his I long know. hair. And his mustache and yes, beard. Yes, yes. Um, basically, he also was born in a very, very low social class. So he moves over to Japan. And when he's over there, he starts... Um, kind of harsh, but he starts living the samurai life. Mm -hmm. Um, Since he was 10, he's like a vagabond. He has no home. He just, he fights. He uses knives. He kills people. It's very, very creepy. As you can tell, he looks like a samurai. Yes, very creepy. But of (laughs) course, we need that, you know, third character that's harsh and tough and rough Mm -hmm. that falls in love (laughs) with our main character. Mm -hmm. So we have um, Kudongme. And next we have Kudohina, 
played by Kim Min Jong, and this character is how I'm dressed up today. Yes, so beautiful. Yes, this my hair piece was inspired by Kudo Hina, and she is the owner of a hotel called Hotel Glory. She married a Japanese man, but. Fortunately or unfortunately, the man passed away very early. So with his fortune, she becomes very rich and starts a hotel in Chosan, Hotel mm-hmm. Glory. And in the drama, um, Hotel Glory is basically like um, where all the meetings happen and they meet each other there. And it's, you know, it's really interesting. Uh, lastly, we have one more male character, Kim Hee Song, played by Pyeon Yo Han. And um, this is where our skit comes in because he is Kue Shin's actual fiance. Mm-hmm. So there are three men that fall in love with Kue <laughs> so Shin. So lucky. <laughs> She's so lucky. So lucky. Um, he's smart, he's funny, he's rich, and he's good looking. He's the perfect fiance. He comes back to Korea after studying in Japan to get married, and after he sees Kue Shin, he falls in love with her immediately. Yeah, because he's only heard about her, and he yes. wasn't a fan of this whole arranged marriage either, and he wasn't looking forward to going back to Korea. But he comes back and he sees her from afar, and he's like, Oh, Mona, I should have come back sooner <laughs> to meet this love of my life. Um, so, yes, we have these three male characters fighting for Kueshin while Kueshin is fighting for independence. <laughs> Not relay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, this is a story about these five characters. Yes. But the awesome thing about this drama are the supporting actors too i feel like right they're the ones that provide the laughter the tears um they're they just such a great job of being the supporting mm-hmm, actors mm-hmm. very and true th- this drama is full of romance um history so you learn a lot about uh, through this drama you cry <laughs> did um, you cry I cried so much. I cried like every episode. Are you are you serious? For real? Yeah. I remember doing my homework while watching it. I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> How could you not spill tears when you watch this drama? But then also, it's not just too dark. Mm-hmm. Although there's like real historical events and like sad parts, it's not too dark. There's like definitely, definitely like really funny, like comedic like yeah. features in it. It's really funny too. Mm-hmm. So it has everything. Romance. Um, there's some thriller too. Mm. It has thriller. It has like everything. So yeah. I think you guys will really like it. Okay, so these three male characters, it's so hard to choose because, um, let's see, the main main character, Eugene Choi, played by Lee byung Han, he's um, gentle, he's also cool, and he just mm. knows when to appear to save Kue Jin <laughs> and, you know, prevent her from getting injured and hurt. Just perfect. And because he has a high, like, because he's American, mm-hmm. he's really safe. Mm-hmm. So whenever Kue Jin is in trouble, he would just, like, take her to his office yeah and like she's just safe there and it's yeah really really trustworthy and then we have Kim Hee Song played by Pyeon Yo Han who is supposed to marry Kue Shin and you can't help but just love him too because he's so pure he doesn't care about career he doesn't care about mm. his status <laughs> even though he's from a wealthy family yes. he just wants to find true love and his true love is Kue Shin and then the last oh. but not least uh, the character Ku Dong Mei played by Yu Yeon Seok he's the samurai so obviously he's gonna be very rough um he's, he's kind of like the red flag of you know <laughs> he is but you can't help but like have that mother instinct and just want to take care of him because he's been through so much wake you know? up ashley he was abandoned as a child and he's been through so much hurt and pain and that's the only way he knows how to show no. love you know leaving two perfect men out just for this toxic guy okay I know. what's wrong with me okay, okay. <laughs> toxic indeed but his love is true it's real it's not right it's not the right way to love but okay that's um, true it's yeah, that's the it's only real. way he knows how to express himself mm, yeah. okay so if you could choose one out of these three characters if mm-hmm. you were a question in the drama who would you choose i would definitely 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 without a doubt go with kimmy song Played by Pyeon Pyeon Yuan. Yuan, the oh. rich, funny, good-looking, mm-hmm. wealthy. But he's a coward. He doesn't know how to fight. Remember that scene when he was getting, when they were uh, threatening him? He mm-hmm. like hid between Eugene Choi, and he was like, "Hey, you go fight. It's your turn now. It's, they want you." No, I don't want my person to fight. 
you know, I don't want them to get hurt. I want them to just chill. <laughs> I want someone to protect me. You That's know? why you want the toxic samurai. I That's going to protect want, you by killing no, people. I do not want the samurai. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our listeners are thinking I'm mad toxic right now. <laughs> Rick Gal says Ashley is too easy. Okay. You're maybe right. But um, no, I wouldn't choose him because he's too violent for me. He goes around saying like, I'll slice you in half. Like, you know, I cannot yeah. stand that kind of violent um you know talk so i would choose eugene Choi. you sure yes he's very patriotic um he's very respectful he's he educated english. he speaks he's english he can come to arena <laughs> radio perfect. yes i would have no trouble communicating with him so eugene Choi, you are my pick okay not that this is meet this means anything yeah you know, i mean like, they don't even know about this yeah just in our imagination you know what i mean um say say jesus iris chooses the one who'll take care of her with money that's very true no i'm kidding <laughs> at least i'm not being toxic okay Eileen says, Iris, gonna fight for him. Ha ha ha. Yuno says, Iris, a cold-blooded warrior. Like question, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Stacey G says, but Ashley would have no trouble fighting too, lol. <laughs> Me? Um... I don't know. I act like I'm all tough. I'm a tough cookie, but, you know, I'll You're be the first one to run away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rick Gao also said, I'd pick Lee byung Han too. Mm -hmm. How could you not? Um, so we're going to listen to a song and talk more about Mr. Sunshine today. Uh, we're going to listen to Ozone's Shine Your Star, which was an OST, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and while we listen to the OST, we have a quiz again. Yay! Yay! So in the drama, Eugene Choi goes to Kuishin, who is currently learning English, and he says, Let's do love. And Kuishin, <laughs> that's what they say. He says, Let's do this thing called love. No, it's because Kuishin didn't know what love meant. Okay, yeah, so she doesn't exactly. know what Eng she doesn't know English at all, right? But someone just someone who's learning English says to her, like, I wanna do this thing called love. Love is the best thing in the world. It makes me happier than anything else in the world. So, so she's she was like, like what, what is love? love? So he's like Let's do love. I'll love you. Love. And Let's then love. she because she doesn't want him to know that she doesn't know what love is. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, let's do love. Let's love. And then later she finds out and she's like, <gasps> what do you mean? And then she says, sorry, I changed my mind. I think we don't, I don't think we could do this. But then, you know, it's, mm. they meet and yeah. then he's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, back to the quiz. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is love in Korean? <laughs> Tell us in the comments. You made it sound so weird. Who says, let's do love? Because like, because he says, 합시다, love. Okay, but you can't translate it literally like that. Well, it's different than let's love. Let's do this thing called love. Let's Something do it. Like that. This thing called love. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay right. mother. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna listen to this song by Ozone, Shine Your Star, produced by Zico. Music oh. that you wanna dance to. Oh, yeah. Arirang. 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 Arirang Radio. That song was so sad. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Uh, you guys are listening to and watching Radio Clock on both radio and TV right now. So let's announce the wrong answers to the yes. quiz first. Because um, they're interesting. Yeah. <laughs> let's so, see. Um, say Say G says food. food. A lot of people said food. Food is, food love. is love. Yes, uh -huh. very true. Sarang is umshik. Yes. Um, what else was there? Ton. Moisin says, what about ton? Love is, 사랑 is 돈, 사랑 is you, money. Why do you keep saying the answer? Oh, huh? <laughs> you never heard that, guys. Okay, bye. Okay, please, okay. let's not act like yeah. nobody knows what Bread 사랑 is. Bread is love. <laughs> Bread is love. Okay, <laughs> guys. <laughs> okay, so shall we do a very lame um, answer mm. reveal? Mm -hmm. 사랑, love. Weren't you supposed to write it in English? No, sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> sad. She's like, Sarang is food. Sarang is, <laughs> is ton. 
<laughs> That's why you were quiet. You yeah, were like, just like, hello. Uh, love is 사랑 in Korean. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to everyone who got it right. Congratulations to whoever got it right. Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. what love is? I don't. Mm, me Do too. you? No, it's hard. No, I know what love is. Bread? No. What is it? Never mind. What? Because I'm on live TV, I decided to stop being a fangirl. Oh, hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. we all know what she was about to yeah. say. Yeah. Oh, I also point... I, I also want to point out that all... Even though these three male characters are kind of fighting over Eshin... Mm -hmm. Is that her name? I keep forgetting yes, her real name. Oh, yes. Eshin. You would think that they, like, hate each other. They want to kill each yeah. other. But they actually the formed this chemistry. really cute yeah. bond. Just, I love the bromance scenes. It's like hate slash love relationship. Mm. Um, but they funny. actually get to know each other really well. And um, they... Become friends. Become although friends. they don't admit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really cute. You guys should search it up. There's, Please, like, clips. No, yeah. watch the drama, guys. You won't <laughs> regret it. Trust me. Trust 24 me. episodes it's your homework mm -hmm. until next who's seen it yeah yeah <laughs> okay so uh, we want to tell you guys about some of our favorite scenes in the dramas mm -hmm. uh of course we can't play it here for you unfortunately because of copyright issues but what was your favorite scene my favorite scene was um it was on episode 18 mm -hmm. and it's the scene where Kudome, played by yu yun Sok, um he cuts off koeshin's braided hair mm -hmm. using his scary sword. Why did he cut his hair? Because um, at the time, um, Koeshin broke the marriage mm -hmm. and there was a lot of rumors going on about her because she was doing things that was considered wrong in the very conservative culture so back then. Mm -hmm. So people were like saying a lot of things behind her back. So he cut her hair, which was considered like a big deal yeah, at the course. time like touching the hair of someone mm -hmm. in a high social class and also wasn't it strange for girls to have short hair um Didn't not all... probably not braided hair yeah it was yeah. just like loose yeah right? yeah uh -huh, it was uh -huh. loose like that's the mm. thing that's kind of um so he cuts it so that he would seem like the bad guy mm. so that people would start talking about him and stop talking about her that's like what like like what we mentioned earlier his way of like caring mm. his way of showing his love so I thought it was interesting. Oh, so it was like to protect her. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I see, I see. Well, my favorite scene was in the last episode, episode 24. And it's when Eugene Choi tries to protect Kue Shin. Mm -hmm. So they're on a train, right? And this is kind of like, um, what is it called? What's that train movie again? Something? <laughs> no, the American movie. I forgot. Train. Train. You know, they Train. move up. It's like every cart. The yes, 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 yes. What is that in What's English? What's that in English? Uh, snow piercer. Yeah, snow piercer. It's like um, they're going more towards the front of the train. Yeah, and yeah. He wants to protect her. He's about to die. So he hops into the cart in front of her. And then he's about to, you know, bad things are about to happen to him. <laughs> so yeah. because he doesn't want her to follow, she was about to follow him. He shoots the part where the trains connect right. so only sends her away car will continue to go and hers would stop and that's don't how don't cry you know, actually he sacrificed himself how, you cannot not cry while watching that i was bawling i was bawling i was like oh gun can go through oh okay i was like mm. i didn't know you could like actually shoot at it and like and the chain you of know of course you can okay hmm. Anyways, <laughs> interesting, <laughs> interesting. Um, yes, those are our favorite scenes. But please watch the drama if you're looking for something to watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We highly recommend it. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, if we have some time, should we do like a short interview on Zoom? If there's anybody that wants to do one, hello. hello. Okay, Aaron. Wow, he's quick. Hi, Hi Aaron. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. How Hi. are you guys? Hello, how are you today? I'm good. How about yourselves? We are doing okay well. Okie dokie. Okie yes. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, it feels so weird for me because it's been so long since I talked to our listeners. Mm -hmm. Like you did it before our like um, program change. Yeah. But that's why I'm so hyper right now. I'm like, it's real. We have listeners. I have <laughs> listeners that remember me. This is you at being. This is you being hyper. 
Yeah, because I said hi. <laughs> I would go hi, you know. Hi, Erin. Uh, we know that you're not uh, an avid K drama watcher, but do you still enjoy these segments? I don't know. I, I <laughs> feel like seen it? yeah. And no, what do you think yeah, about who's what do you seen think it? about who's seen Feedback, it? Feedback, please. I am really enjoying it. I mean, I have difficulty watching things by myself mm. uh, as i said in today's message to you guys mm -hmm. um but um it's still interesting to watch you guys do the skits and make fun of each other and um <laughs> yeah even the quizzes are fun because you give us options and i've got like a 25 percent chance like i said in the chat yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So you enjoy us in conclusion. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> good to yes. hear. That's good. It's a relief you, because you, I, I, you know, we're just worried that people who are not very into K dramas will mm. kind of be confused and uninterested. Um, <laughs> this yes. is interesting. Oh, nice three wow, shot. Wow. Okay. Hey, hey, three hey, shot time. Three shot time. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right, Aaron. Oh, this is so cute. Aw, wholesome. Wholesome moment. Um, thank you, Aaron, for joining us today. Um, Can I ask one more last yeah, question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you miss me? <laughs> All I have to say to that is, duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm satisfied. Bye. <laughs> okay, Aaron, Bye. talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Um, Siska from Indonesia says, Hi, Ash and Iris. I think the drama is Mr. Sunshine. Yes, you got it right. I didn't watch it completely because more than 16 episodes is too long for me. It doesn't feel like long, okay? I actually <laughs> checked this drama because Amy Aleha and Fabian Yoon also played in this drama, and Kim Teddy acting is so good. Yes, mm. there were a lot of... Um, uh, foreign yes. actors living in Korea who played in this drama. They made a lot of moments funny as well. Yeah, because yeah. it's like real, real like actors mm -hmm. doing real, real language. Okay, guys, that is all we have for today. We're going to say goodbye with another OST from Mr. Sunshine. This is from the ending scene of episode 8 when Eugene Choi and Ko Shin finally confirm their love for each other and hug each other. This is Melamongs' Chonar. Good day. And this has been yours truly, DJ Ash. And I wish. Shine on loves. Bye. Bye.